Oh, today on Price Check, we're going to take a quick look at some French silver items. And here to get started, we have this gothic set of silver spoons. So it would be sterling from the mid 19th century. And it looks like, yes, we have these are extremely gothic, not just slightly gothic. And we have. Uh, all the extras uh, would appear, or at least the highly desirable pieces, um, including the fish server, the fish fork, uh, the clamshell spoon, and even the ice cream spoon, or I'm not sure what they would have called it then. And then, yes, we also have the claw foot tongs. This is a lovely set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 spoons. And I, you know, I wonder what this would have been used for. Do we have a, are we perhaps missing other portions? Are we not seeing the gilt really well in the photos? This is lovely. I wonder what this set was for. RP monogram repeated amazing part. So no speculation as to what this set was made for. Hmm. Well, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, is this a cake set or uh, more of a uh, um, different type of dessert set? I'm a little thrown off by the serving utensils that are all included. You know, are we just perhaps missing a large amount of items but they seem to imply that it comes with the original box let's see do they have those photos included down here no but this does appear to be the original box i am at a loss but this is very interesting and i will have to keep my eye out for this in the future because i would bet this is not the last time i will see this especially if this is gilt gold if this is an old master's work in the early 19th century this could return. Very, very cool. So here we have another French piece. This is a vinaigrette dating to 1870s with a Sotheby's provenance. Uh, very nice gold gilting uh, in the middle or perhaps just solid gold. Uh, the description will tell me more. And this is a nice piece of metalwork. I'm not sure why it came up on the silver. And perhaps we have some mentioning of silver in the listings but it's technically not what we're looking for so I will just skip right over it even though it is fantastic and we'll go straight to this palmander from 1790 with these lovely lovely jewels built built into it now this is an odd piece I think this is incredibly strange and I'm not 100% certain. I think this is like a, uh, I think it is a sensor of sorts, but this is really different, really extravagant and, and likely a one-off make. So I think for $1,600, somebody might've done quite well there. Um, this is something that I would expect to hold its value long-term. Yes, smelling sensor, there we go. I mean, it's just so different. The, the, look at this monkey. Look at this dude. Is that a monkey playing a violin? I think that is a monkey playing a violin. Well, it had a sense of humor, even back then. And let's see. So French, you'll, you might notice with French items, I'm not talking so much about the hallmarks. Um, hallmarks on French items are notoriously difficult. They're not as easy to understand or learn as English items might be. Um, this seller, it appears, hasn't even bothered to uh, note the, uh, note any sort of hallmarks. This might be plate, but I don't know that it is. Um, it seems $1,000 for 14 ounces is an okay price. 
yeah, that's favorable to them. Overall, a nice piece. I mean, I really like this this classical stylization. Some people think it's boring, but there's something to that handle that just looks great. And the last piece, we've got a touristy box that would have been picked up alongside the street in Paris. And this is something you would have gotten if you had been on holiday in Paris from wherever. Um, nice little purple colorization in here. It seems to have lost some of that with time, but rather good condition for what is probably 150, 200 years old. Here we have a French maker hallmark, and it looks like somebody has actually taken the time to scratch in sterling silver. And I don't know if that would have been done by the maker or if it would have been added at a later date, but overall, very nice piece that looks like the uh, gilt that had been there has faded away over time. So very cool great French pieces and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so that we can keep doing this. Uh, liking and subscribing supports the channel and we know, all know you want to do that. And anyways, I hope everyone has a great day.